ticket Caesar. What's that, Newcastle? Geordie, Fans. Newcastle, yeah. Friends, Romans, Brits, lend me your ears, man. I am a salad of great ambition. I haven't been cooked up far from it. But I am a great Roman explorer. That's a Brit. And no way do I live a poultry life. That's 2070 in Newmore. My chicken squawks can be heard around the world. And I'm here to make the competition historic. Killers, killers, random flowers from the killers. I just hope you'll give me the thumbs up. Cheese guitar went. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Woo! Okay. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in, the city of angels. Lonely as I am. I do not know this voice at all. Well, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to believe that there's nobody out there. It's hard to believe that I'm all alone. At least I have her love, the city she loves me. Lonely as I am, together we cry. Woo! But I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Eggs are absolutely fantastic. Look at the egg skirt. Oh, Jonathan, who do you think it is? I love that performance. And Caesar, you did a great job. One of the clues is a very strong Geordie accent. I think it might be someone who does have a Geordie accent who's overdoing it to make us think it's someone who doesn't have a Geordie accent who's doing it, so we wouldn't therefore guess it's someone with a Geordie accent. And I think the flowers might be a reference to someone's name. One in particular I'm thinking that takes me back to a Geordie person is the Rose, Rosie. I'm thinking it could be Chris Ramsey. Ooh. Oh! To his wife, Rosie. <laughs> Mo, cockle doodle, do you know who it is? Um, that didn't get nearly enough from the audience. <laughs> that was really well thought out and quite difficult to say. This is a very hard one. I, I seen 1966. That's when England won the World Cup. Yes. Thank you for that, Rita. Sorry. R Rita was excited because she didn't know about it until now. Come on! <laughs> when I say this, you've got to say yes got again. It, got it. Okay. So in, in the shadows, there was a Brit yes. Award. No, after oh, I say it. Sorry. In the shadows, there was a Brit Award. Yes! Do you know who I think it is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think. It might be the England legend himself, Jeff Hurst. Whoa! Ooh! Can I jump off Mo here? Yes! <laughs> yes, you may. I feel like the 1966 again made me think England, World Cup. Who's Geordie and had something to do with football? Don't have a clue if he can sing. Alan Shearer. Ooh! Yes. Davina, is it Alan Shearer? No. 
Oh. I, I don't think that's a real Geordie accent. However, I did think, oh, it could be a singer because this person sang about the MM the Millennium. He released a single with Brandon Flowers. So I'm just going to say Robbie Williams because I don't have another name. OK, fancy another game of Riddle Me This? Yes. Chicken Caesar, let's hear your riddle, please. My previous history has been quite gritty, apart from a visit from my friend in the city. Man City? Oh, oh that would be football that's games. Good. Sex in the City? Yes. <laughs> oh. It's Kim Cattrall. <laughs> You'll only see who's inside when this salad is undressed. Let's hear it for Chicken Caesar! That is a tough one. Are the panel onto a winner winner chicken dinner, or do they need to buck buck up their ideas? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel think they've had a peek behind the beak. More like they've peeked too soon. 